Hi everyone, Jamie here. Thank you for watching today. Apologies if the lighting is a little bit off, but it's quite a grey day here and it's been raining all morning, so I've had to up my lamps on my desk, so hopefully it's not too bright and I've just got the level just right. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be making a book easel card. I made this gorgeous uh, envelope gift box for it. Towards the end, I do give you the measurements on how to create this, but I did make it off camera. It's pretty simple to construct. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you know, you've know you seen me do something similar in the past. And then this is the book easel. So it pops up like so. Tucks in then behind that baby boy, and I'll just hold it so you can sort of see how it'll be displayed so we've got the baby name the gorgeous florals and the lovely baby elements like the pram the baby grow and the rocking horse there you've got space on on the back to write your message and um, i'm going to be sharing some additional projects at the very end to go along with this gorgeous card some of them you've seen on the channel before um so i made most of them off camera but stick around if you want to have a look at those so let's get into the tutorial in today's video i'm going to be using the made to surprise pop-up wiper book mechanism die set but i'm going to be using it slightly different so i'm going to do um a book style easel card so i'll talk you through the various sort of elements that i've prepared and then i'm going to do a lot of the decoration off camera um and then come back to you with the final project. So I've used the largest die. So just take that out there. I've taken a piece of A4 cardstock, folded it in half. And then you can see in the die, hopefully you can see, you've got a larger arch there and then a smaller arch. So the larger arch is meant to be at the top. So here's the folded edge. I've taken my die and I've tacked it over the cardstock and I've left a gap there between the edge. So this little bit by here in the center is fine. So tacked it down and run that through my die cutter machine. Now I use a metal shim and I use my Gemini machine so I paused it sort of once it was almost through and then reversed it so it's gone through twice and it's cut through that cardstock beautifully obviously you might need to do it one or two times and then um add some shims if you need to but it will eventually go through so this forms the card base i've cut an additional piece that will match up to the front that will line up on the bottom like so and form the part of the easel then using the next layer down so these are all nesting dies got this lovely pattern paper so i'm making a new born baby card for baby boy um, and i'm also making a mini album to go along with this card so I'm going to be showing you how to make that. So keep an eye out on the channel. So we've got um, this layer then. And then next layer down. Got this lovely cream cardstock. And then I've got one of the pages. I need to cut the second one in this lovely gingham pattern paper. So all the elements I'm going to be using to decorate the pattern paper and the lovely floral pieces are from a digital collection from Knitwits. I think it's called um, Newborn Baby Neutral. I'll link it in the description box below anyway. And there's some gorgeous elements in it. Wait, wait till you see the mini album. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's for the front of the card. What I am going to do is run 
these pieces through my scoreboard so just line up that point there and there and run it you know just run a line direct from there reinforce the score line on that one add a curve to them and pop the, the pages up it's really simple to sort of construct and then for the inside I've got this piece here as the matte layer and then I'm going to have a, um, a stopper here with baby boy on it and that will be um, the stopper for the easel element. So I've popped my middle score line up to the five and a half inch marker there and I've just scored at eight and one eighth so it might be slightly out but it doesn't matter too much because that won't be visible. So that gives you your easel base. Then you take the additional piece and attach that. You want to add glue all along this section here and then attach that. Just move my scoreboard out of the way. So added the glue and just make sure you've got the correct edge at the bottom and then just line that up. So then that will stand up and you've got this lovely book element. So I'm just going to run my stylus down the five inch track and then just check. We've got the center point there and the bottom lined up. And just score that one. And then the same for this piece. You just fold and burnish that score line and then just take your bone folder and add a curve into the page. So, do the same for the next piece. So I'm going to take the largest element there and I'm going to run some red liner tape. So just along the score line on the centre there. Do that on both sides. So I'm just going to show you this one layer and then obviously you know the sort of the formula on how to add the rest of the layers. And as I said, I'm going to do the decoration off camera. So I'm going to bring back my piece. So again, make sure you've got the correct edge because it'll look off otherwise. I'm just going to line that score line up to the center there and then just push those edges down like so and then I'm going to add some foam adhesive on the back of this It might have been a better idea to add it before. <laughs> and then you can really sort of push those pages out to form that curve. So I wasn't too happy with my placement on the phone. So I've just taken them off and I've cut them in half. And I place them right towards the edge. So I'm going to curve this piece 
lost its curve a little bit because I pulled it up. And then curve the edge there. There we go. I think that's got some lovely dimension to it now. I'm just going to do the same on the opposite side. And then you just want to go ahead and just do the same for the rest of the layers. So you can see that I was off there because I didn't have the correct um, distance between the two layers. That one's going to go there and then I've got this piece to go on the front and then I've got some gorgeous floral elements, a baby grow and a personalised um, message to add in there. So I'll do those off camera. And then I'm going to add this piece flat. And I've got a stopper to go across here. So I've got this piece that I've already prepared. I need to trim it down. I'm going to have a cream layer and a blue layer behind that. So when I come back to you, I'll give you the dimensions of that. So that's going to go sit there like that. And then we're going to have some gorgeous floral elements. And I think it's going to be beautiful. So bear with me while I go and decorate and put this together. And then I'll come back to you. I'm back with a finished card and I've also made a box envelope. I'll give you the measurements. It's pretty simple to construct. Um, so if you've been following my channel before, it's basically what I've done, you know, many times before. So I, I can give you the measurements and then you can recreate that yourself if you wish. So I've decorated the card and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous with all these lovely elements and then it pops up well not pops up you know um, you've got that easel base there so we've got the name of the baby there on the front to the date that he was born and his weight and then we've got baby boy as the stopper and then these lovely elements we've got the pram rocking horse some floral elements baby grow a butterfly I think those florals are absolutely gorgeous. So it'll stand up like so. Um, you don't necessarily need these particular dice to create this easel card. You could just create it as a rectangle and shape your pages. Um, but I just thought it was some lovely inspiration to share it with you. And then on the bottom is my handwritten message. I'm not going to turn that over because I have written on the card. So I don't want to obviously share that and for the center here i don't know if i can show it on camera there you go i just popped it up onto some foam just really nicely stabilized there in the center and just thought it was a different sort of way of um using this particular card style i've seen sam share ones with you know her poems with the images and then the lovely poem on the opposite page which was obviously uh, made to go uh, or coordinate with this particular card style. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to give you some additional options. And then I think the box is absolutely gorgeous. Um, just slots on the top. That they, and I didn't want to, um, you know, the aperture to be too large. I just wanted it to be able to focus on the baby's name and then I've got all this lovely decoration on the outside so to make the box I'm just going to give you the measurements as, as I said so these are my my notes so for the base I've cut a piece of 11 by 8 and 5 eighths so I've used the Aldi card stock or you can get away with um, a3 card and I've scored at one and a half on all four sides because I needed the depth for this card because of the pages being quite large, largely popped up. 
So 11 by 8 and 5 eighths score at 1 and a half, rotate 1 and a half and so on. And then for the lid, you want a piece of 11 and 1 eighth by 8 and 3 quarters. And again, score at 1 and a half on all four sides. And then, you know, you cut away those squares um, to make your tabs and just fold them over. As I said, pretty simple construction. For the aperture on the lid, because of the length of it, it probably would have gone through an A4 die cutter machine. But in my head, I thought it wouldn't go through, <laughs> which was silly of me. So I used my circle cutter to cut the aperture out of the um, a cream cardstock. And then I used my circle dies to cut into the blue and to cut this lovely white frame. And then it all sort of uh, ties together. So um, I'm just going to show you some additional inspiration that I've made to go along with this card. You've seen lots of these on the channel before. Or, I, you know, I'm using a die set. So I thought it would be nice to just share the inspiration. So you've definitely seen this one. So I've just got a box bottle of bubbles just in there I think it looks gorgeous then I've used the simply made crafts um, so the one I just showed you is simply made crafts a spirit bottle and I think it's perfect for bottles of Prosecco champagne Asti things like that this is the impossible hexagon gift box so the lid just pops up like so and then I've got some lovely socks inside and it just squashes down so if you're adding any decoration you want to add it to the top part because that will prevent it from lifting so there's another little gift I haven't gone you know too overboard on the decoration on this one and I tried to use lots of my off guts because I made a mini album um, I just I'm just going to show you the front of that because there are more personal. I well, this photo is inside, so I don't really want to share that. So that's the impossible box. Then I just made this pocket for a gift, a gift card, and then decorated it with those lovely images again on the front. So you just untie the bow, and the top will slot off. So I haven't made this on the channel, pretty simple to construct. I just measured, you know, how much I needed um, width-wise. And then I just wanted to use a leave a little bit of overhang at the top so that the gift card was easy to pull out. This is the mini album. As I said, I won't... Um, there we go. I'll just open it up. So you've got... 12 months um, so the parents can record each month for the first year of the baby's the baby's first year I should say <laughs> and then you've got all these cards here for the photographs and I've added some lovely embellishments and then I've got the continuation of that striped design wrapped around the side and the back so it sort of pulls everything together I'm super pleased with this. This is the first time that I've made a mini album and I have recorded a tutorial for this, so keep an eye out for it. And then the last one, I just made this sort of gift bag, held it together on the front there with some ribbon, added the baby's name and some embellishments. It's quite large. This is a nice little outfit in there. Um, yeah, so there's a few little bits that I wanted to put together for the baby's hamper. And I just wanted to just project share at the end. If you've enjoyed today's video, then maybe you'd consider hitting the like button, leaving a comment or subscribing to the channel. It does help and support my channel to grow by hitting that like button and it is very much appreciated. Any products used in today's video will be listed in the description box below. And if any of the Simply Made Craft Styles are available, I'll also link those. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you have a lovely crafty day and I'll see you in the next one.